guys, welcome back to Edward RC. So here are some of the flight test planes and boats I built the last few days. And uh, instead of cutting it manually by myself, I built a DIY CNC machine to cut it for me. And you can build it for yourself as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you an overview about what this machine is about, uh, how it cuts and uh, what are the hardware, the electronics uh, to be used in, in this. And uh, price-wise, it's really cheap as well. Um, if if you use the Banggood link I shared in the part list, it probably cost you about 160 uh, US dollar without shipping. Working on a kit version of this, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make it at uh, 99 US dollar without the aluminium extrusion. Hopefully I can make it, and uh, so that you guys can uh, benefit getting a much cheaper uh, kit and uh, having a machine to build it for you instead of cutting it manually because. <coughs> Some of you, you know how long it takes to uh, to cut the flight test plane manually and then you have to build it. So another uh, hours, many hours of uh, of a build just to get this awesome plane to fly. With this, now I'm finally 100% happy with it and uh, with the, in terms of reliability, I just turn it on and then go to my, oops, and go do my own thing, uh, such as uh, cutting, getting my hair cut. Alright, so talk no more. I don't have a table big enough, so I just put it on the floor, give you an explanation about this. Alright, so this is an overview of this machine. Size-wise, it's, uh, it's for A1 size uh, foam board. For the Y-axis, the aluminum extrusion is a 2040 uh, with a 1 meter length. And uh, for X axis, 760 mm or 76 cm of uh, 2020 aluminum extrusion. Now let's talk about electronics. Okay, there's a Arduino Uno here with a CNC shield V3. And uh, to make it easy for you to plug in uh, the power supply for the whole board, I bypass, I jump. Uh, a red wire from the bottom of, of this red wire power input at the bottom pin I soldered a wire and go to the wind pin of the Arduino Uno so you can just plug it in and it will power on instead of uh, cutting a power supply wire and putting it in here and also to to solve the issue where if you slot in two wires here uh, be quite hard so now this becomes a power output instead and this will be a power input for 12 volt and this will be the bottom one will be a USB for the USB connection so by default uh, I believe this whole Arduino and CNC shield set comes with a, a like a printer cable but usually it's very short so I recommend getting a long one so you can uh, have your foam board uh, with a little bit of distance away from your, your PC or laptop and uh, these are the steppers you only require two stepper motors and uh, i just put it at default and it, the default uh, v-ref setting and it works there are three wires these are for the servo i'll put up the diagram screenshot in this video i believe it is a zac uh, zac plus pin or zac 11 i believe and uh, these are the two this is the x-axis this is the y-axis uh, cable so that's about it on this electronic and uh, the two stepper motors, they are NEMA 17 which uh, you don't really need a very powerful one because this is quite light and uh, so far it works and uh, it, despite running at high uh, high step speed, the stepper motor, the stepper chip here still runs not hot and not warm as well. Then, uh, okay, then these are the cutter holder or the cutter head with a 2212 motor it's an XXD brand which is very common and so very cheap uh, usually use it on uh, RCA plane and uh, 1000 kV will be enough and this is a 0.6 mm diameter steel wire which I make to complete loop to uh, secure it on a 6x2 bearing and uh, some washer in between the bearing for it to uh, rotate smoothly here are some m3 screws and uh, egg pieces of this same 6x2 mm bearing with a hole for m3 side i also made it uh you see most of it like a plate so it's um, easier and faster for printing you can print faster and then just like a lego and you build it up 
um, servo, please any servo you do, this is a Nigram servo by Tower Pro and a servo tester and I found out that uh, different servo tester has uh, like sort of different signal output at uh, even at the same uh, knob position and uh, the optimal speed for the cutter head is 8500 RPM so it's not noisy, not, not too noisy and also uh, to increase your, your reliability, your, the, the reliability because spinning at higher speed let's say you can do a maximum of 12,000 uh, RPM the sound is louder and also probably there's a higher chance of this uh, throwing off so I find it very surprising that uh, previously I added uh, a bigger washer in front to prevent the needle from uh, coming out of the bearing but the side effect is that sometimes it may get jammed in between the bigger washer and uh, the, the, the slit in between this and causes very high heat I just, I just remove it and then I cut so many planes afterwards and none of it, none of it never came off the needle wire never came off as for the ESC for the motto it's just a Emax 12M ESC and then I have uh, apply a current sensor over here even while the stepper motor is running, this is running under load while it's cutting the maximum M draw is 1.1 M without, I mean while it's spinning without cutting, it's only 0 0.9 M so that's why I believe this, this wire will just work just fine I did test uh, on the temperature by just touching it, there's no heat at all and so I think that's about it for, in terms of electronics hardware then these are these parts are all 3D printed. You can see my brand name over here, ERC. Model name I'll call it Team Safe or Time Safe, which means a uh, time saver because it saves you time uh, from uh, instead of cutting by yourself. Also, okay, this is as I mentioned before, 2040 aluminum extrusion, one meter. This is 2020 aluminum extrusion, uh, 76 uh, cm. Then you require total of eight of this uh, V-slot rollers. Also, by the way, when you purchase an aluminium extrusion, make sure that uh, it's, it's a V-slot, not T-slot. Because T-slot has a step uh, at the opening, so it becomes very tight. Also, uh, in terms of the tolerance between the roller and the aluminium extrusion, it's really uh, well calibrated. Uh, some of the member, beta tester, also tested. It so, uh, works well and smooth. 28. Four, four over here, three on the X plate, and so as one at the sort of like a landing gear, a support for the X axis. And so far, in terms of flex, I think it's fine. It's tight enough. Um, at least it's, it's very, uh, I mean, it's good enough for, uh, for foam board cutting as you don't need a very high precision uh, tolerance. But so far, the cutting result, the quality is very, very good. Line is straight. The curve was very nice. It cuts really, really, really well, which uh, really happened from the, the beginning, from the first version. And thanks to uh, David in the uh, flight test for sharing uh, the specs, like the RPM, what is the recommended RPM. So the servo, so this goes uh, up and down. Okay, if we use the same servo, then the angle will be the same. And uh, in terms of uh, G-code generator, for a full cut, a true cut through the first foam board layer, is a S90. And then a uh, score cut will be at 60 And an M5 will be uh, fully up to prevent it from uh, cutting to the foam board when it's moving to another location. And if you're using different servo, like for example, Tower Pro, SG90 the angle will be slightly different but uh, I think it's fine then uh, you can loosen this M3 screw here to uh, slide this whole cutter up and down and so far for two layer of foam board you just push it you just pull it to the highest position uh, and then the lower position could be for future for other different materials while you build this make sure you put grease in the slot over here you make a huge difference. Without that, uh, it may be not that smooth enough because previously it was using gravity to, to drop and uh, I just added this knot here to make sure that it's always get pushed down. Alright, then regarding the belt here, it's a GT2 uh, 6mm width 
and uh, in terms of tightness you don't really need uh, need to make it to be very tight just uh, make sure that it's not loose enough like uh, when you feel the initial tightness that feels like it's straightened fine you can lock it in really the same thing for the X and then uh, yep the gears here the drive gear is also uh, is for GT2 and it's a uh, 20 teeth same thing for the rear but the rear is just an idle gear there's no teeth in it you can just use uh, a 20 or 16 mm um, teeth idle gear so most here are using M3 and uh, M5 screws uh, of a various length I'll update that in the uh, in the part list and uh, it's best that you have this cable organizer over here this is a 10 mm this is a 6 mm and then if you can see the acrylic uh, plastic over here you can do without this but there's there may be a chance of the cable uh, getting pushed under the cutter and then <laughs> probably possibly cutting your your wires so i recommend putting this but i'll include this in the in a kit if that's going to happen so next thing which is uh the very great feature which is is foldability which i'm going to demonstrate to you now uh, try using by one hand so first i have to pull the motor over here and then unlock all the uh, thumb screw or maybe I think it's called thumb nut over here so this is this is tight i wonder if i can pull it by one hand yep i can then you just slot it in there's one extra hole here to hold it put back the screw right then put it back then you can just store it here on your leading to your wall or you can uh, put it straight which i've already considered so you can lean it on the wall not taking up too much of space like the other CNC machine where it has a large CNC uh, cutting bed. This is without bed, so you can fold it and uh, put it anywhere like a golf club.